are flying. That's not why I'm filming today. Hey, I'm doing another video on the maple syrup. It's March 12th. Uh, Eleventh, March 11th, 2012. Up here, my nephew's in great uncle's woods. The, uh, the Vernon Center. I'm up there on the hill. I get back up there. I showed a few from up there. Another type of junction. This thing here just clamps onto the line, makes a hole through the line. So you gotta have a splice. You can tap your smaller lines on your big line. Line's going every which way here. And down through both sides. That's the old sugar shack. This woods would have been known as a sugar bush. Oh, uh, hard maples. This would have been the building that they boiled in years ago. We had a big pan set up out here. On blocks. Burning the wood. I'd use it to store some of their supplies. Tubing. Tubs. There's another type of collection manifold. These three quarter lines, they all come down through the woods. Splice into this big piece of pipe. You got an inch and a quarter line, I think. T at the bottom. That runs down to a big collection tank. Coming down here. Some more connections. I believe he's got about 1500 taps up here. I'm not sure exactly. All looks to a vacuum system on the other end of the line. Down here to that. I don't hear it running yet. He was headed down ahead of me to get going. Oop. It's running now. Gurgling through the line over there. Must be thawed out. 17 degrees this morning when I left for work at quarter after seven. It's up, oh, it must be in the 50s by now. Okay, the way this system works, 
Fala mais é You see the sap coming in here. It's on all them lines, you see. into this manifold here, comes down through the pipes into these tanks. Okay, after it comes in this tank in the back, comes into the front here. It's a two system, so it's under vacuum. When one side's filling, the other side's draining. I don't know if you can see it coming in there or not. There's a float in here. When a float comes up, it raises this lever, trips a valve inside this pipe, and that puts the vacuum to the other side. And when the vacuum goes to the other side, there's a little flipper valve here. This will flop open and drain it out here. It should be tripping here in just a second.
trips, I believe it dumps about five gallon a minute, or about five gallon each time it trips. My nephew knows, he keeps track of how many gallons an hour it goes if I count how many times it trips. Sap coming in for 250 taps. Each line? Yep. Well, no, just 250 taps oh, all Going into the main line, that's a thousand feet to the tank. Is that inch and a quarter? Inch and a quarter line. These other lines are three quarter. Yeah. Try to get side to it. Wow, that sounds effective. In this wood lot, there's 1,500 taps and 1,500 tees, so that's over 3,000 fittings. There's 25,000 feet of 516 line. There's 5,000 feet of 3 quarter inch line, and there's 2,000 feet of inch and a quarter line. Okay. For the magnitude of this woods, it's about 15 acres. See, 1,700 feet. 1,700. Matt Woods in this tank here, right by the road. Pump stay going, so you can see the path running in there, I think. Put that line up to a trailer. I'll try to get a video at the end here of the trailer. Pump with that pump up to the road. Away she goes. Sugar bush down there. Check out that view. Right. If you uh, like this video, please click like down below. If you're uh, not a subscriber, click subscribe up above. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching.